Welcome to the end of the carrot, Bioshock Part 43 on the Xbox 360. Ten and a half hours of gameplay footage. Is it? Yeah. Holy crap! I, I did. It's uh, that's averaged out, Look, mind you. Come here. But, what? What yeah. Is Jeez. I averaged it 15 minutes. Uh, 15 minutes, 42 parts. Down. Destroy the siphon. And that's what you want. It's the only way we'll find the truth. Got my finger, Comstock, everything. Tear it down. Tear it all down. And of course, Booker is only slightly musical. Oh look! Elizabeth just became super. Elizabeth! The bird Elizabeth! I lost control! He's coming! No, Where is he? Where is he? It's oh god. It's alright. So sad. I'm here. Elizabeth, he can't hear anything you're saying right now. Elizabeth. I'm sorry. We're in Rapture. We are in Rapture! Oh my god! It's another throwback! This is actually a... a, a gargantuan throwback, because this is the opening Elizabeth. area of Bioshock 1. One of many. This way. What do you mean, it's a doorway? Where are you going? Oh, come on! Yes, it's this way! What Comstock said about your finger... Is there an answer here? You. Down here! So you're actually going backwards from where you would have come from if you were playing Bioshock 1. Mm. Why the hell are we in Rapture? This because Elizabeth. Why? What is going that, on? That, that is what do you mean that, this is that a doorway? Is... That is the only explanation for this in, for this entire sequence. It's it's Elizabeth. Elizabeth has full this. access to her powers now, so she can do everything that we see from this point to the credits. Mm, I've been spoiled a little bit that she's actually able to create a tear that allows her to go to Paris, but the ocean. <laughs> ridiculous. Oh, you laugh now, Booker, but 50 years from now, they will be laughing. And dead, but laughing. <laughs> I believe, uh, unless a sequel brings to light a connection between the two, there is no connection between Rapture and Columbia. Oh, look! The lighthouse! Thousands of doors. Opening. All at once. Elizabeth, those My are God, stars. Beautiful. What, the stars? Elizabeth, you can't walk through stars. Stars are giant nuclear reactors from which all matter originated from. You cannot walk through Come them. Come on, it's this way. Come on. Your metaphysical bullcrap will get you nowhere. Nowhere. <sighs> We were already at this lighthouse, and we've sat in this dentist chair. Are you going to open it? No, not not this so lighthouse. Good. Damn it! I thought once we were here, I, I could fully control it. I, I thought. Oh, what is that? It's a key. Where did it come from? It's always been there. I just, I just couldn't see it. I can't honestly. I can't tell if she's actually just figuring shit out now, or if she's fucking with us. It's actually both. Oh, hey, Elizabeth. How the See? hell did you get in front of there? Not stars. They're doors. Doors to... To everywhere. All that's left is the choosing. It's infinite! What are all these lighthouses? Why are we... Who are... There are a million, million worlds. 
All different, all similar. Constants and variables. What? There's always a lighthouse. There's always a man. There's always a city. How do you know this? I can see them through the doors. You, me, Columbia, Songbird. But sometimes, something's different. Yet the same. Constants and variables. Yes. For the record, it doesn't matter which path you take. That sucks. Such is the nature of this game. Look, oh god. Us. Not exactly. We swim in different oceans that land on the same shore. But it always starts with a lighthouse. I, I don't understand. We don't need to. It'll happen all the same. Why? Because it does. Because it has. Because it will. There are so many choices. They all lead us to the same place. Where it started. No one tells me where to go. Look. <laughs> I've already been. Booker, you've been following instructions from blinking, uh, you know, overhead instructions in the top center of the screen this entire game. <laughs> it's cool that we get to see the other versions of us through this, though. Yeah. You don't get to see them too well, though. Indeed. Right after Wounded Knee, I was looking for... Come on now, time's a-wasted. Why were you here? Are you ready to have your past erased? Are you ready to have your sins cleansed? Are you ready to be born again? Take my hand. No. No, I don't want to. But you already did, didn't you? Elizabeth, are what are you, the, the ghost of Christmas past? I am. Do you hate your sins? I do. Do you hate your wickedness? Yes. Do you want to clean the slate, leave behind all you were before, and be born again in the blood of the yes. Lamb? Jesus, wash this man clean. Wait. Father, make him Stop born it. again. Lord, Stop it. No. Get off me! Get off! You didn't go through with it. You think a dunk in the river's gonna change the things I've done? Let's get out of here. I mean, look, these doors of yours, they're, they're all tears, right? Well, open one up. Open one up to Paris. I want to be shut of all this. Not until we find Comstock. Comstock's dead! No. He was here. This way. I swear to God, it's like she already knows. Yeah, she does, because she's already done this. In, in her head. No, Cloud, not in her head. What of my debts? Bring us the dough and wipe away the debt. This is the man who hired me to find you. Really? Yes, the girl for the debt. Okay, now we are in this room, and it's not a dream sequence. Stop looking at me, Elizabeth. Is this? There was no, there was no baby. I, I remember. No, there was no baby, and if there was, I sure as hell wouldn't give it over to this guy. Booker, you don't leave this room until you do. Do it. Time is running short. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. God damn it. Go ahead. No. You can wait as long as you want. Eventually, you'll give him what he wants. Because the game won't proceed until I, I do. All the doors, and what's behind all the doors, and behind one of them, I see him. Comstock. What choice do I have? The debt's paid. Mr. Comstock washes you of all your sins. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. There was no baby. 
The deal was, I go to Columbia to get you. Booker, they're bleeding. Oh. I remember. But I remember. I... Now we've upset him. I don't expect this next bit will do much for his mood. Come on. Shut up, Lutzess. God damn it. What are we doing? <laughs> Constance dead. We can just go on with our lives. You don't need dead? to. You mean like Chen Lin? Like Lady Comstock? No. He is alive in a million, million worlds. He's dead. It will only be over when he never even lived in the first place. Welcome back to the tutorial section. Yeah. You remember how to sprint. Hey. Hey, the deal is off, you hear me? The deal is off! Give her back! Give her back! Fine, are you mad? Grab him! Give her back, you son of a bitch! It's ready! Go! No! No, no, no! No! Shut it down! Shut down the machine! No! Don't do it! Give me back my daughter! No! then um she's gone. yeah this is uh has gone. you shared this room with your regret for almost 20 years until one day a man came to you offered you a chance of redemption a chance for us to be together I'm so confused. Yes, I know. This is the beginning of the game. I so to your credit, you did try to weasel out of the deal. This is all Comstock's fault. What if I went back? Killed him before he did any of this? Things get set in motion. How would one know how far back to go? That's the only way to do it. Go back to when he was born, and I'll smother the son of a bitch in his crib. <sighs> Thereby setting you on the path to become Comstock. God damn it, DeWitt! Think extra literally. Booker is not that smart. <laughs> and Booker. There's a reason why, Ro why Robert and other Lutes. I can't remember. Uh, Rosalind. Uh, Ro Rosalind. Why Robert and. Booker. Are you sure this is what you want? I have to. It's the only way to undo what I've done to you. Would you even have given me a choice, Elizabeth? Because I don't seem to have had any choices. Look at it, Are you ready to what is this? Again? Why are we back here? This isn't the same place, Booker. Of course it is. I remember. Wait. You're not. You're not. Who are you? You chose oh. to walk away, but in other oceans, you didn't. You took the baptism. You were born again as a different man. Comstock. 
It all has to end. To have never started. Not just in this world, but in all of ours. Smother him in the crib. Smother. 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 The Elizabeth the Ensemble. Before you are reborn. He's Zachary Comstock. He's Booker DeWitt. No. I'm both. Congratulations! You won the game! Now die! Um, that was incredibly powerful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this this game, like, I, I, you know, fuck Angry Joe. Fuck what anybody says about this game. It's like, oh, you don't you don't have choices. Your choices don't really matter. You get the same ending. The ending is goddamn powerful. It is perfect for this game. I don't think the ending is perfect by any means, but I do agree that it is ridiculously powerful. I mean, yeah, because that's that's it. Granted, the first time you get to this ending, you're gonna be confused as fuck, but the second No, I I get this, I do. That's because you already knew the ending. I I did not know every part of it, okay? I just all that I knew is that we is that we were gonna go through a bunch of doors and that Booker would become Comstock. What I didn't know is that Elizabeth was going to kill him before he became Comstock. Yes. However, it doesn't matter because, as Rosalind and Robert have been uh, telling us the entire damn game, regardless of uh, regardless of that, we still become Car we still became Comstock and millions upon millions of oceans. Right. Because becoming con because because Booker becoming Comstock was the contingency for this entire game. If Comstock if Comstock never existed, Columbia would have never gone to the sky. Elizabeth would have never been imprisoned. Elizabeth would never have lost her finger. Indeed. Whew. No, this this game, um, this this game is almost perfect, almost perfect. Um, from what I've seen, I have to disagree with you. I don't think I and not in the pos not in the positive. I think this game actually has a lot of problems. Go on. Well, at least from what at least from what you were saying, your weapon choices are incredibly limited because you know it's it's an it's an old school FPS with a with modern FPS spins. In particular, a very limited weapon loadout. The my weapon choices. Okay, okay, just just to clarify, I did have more choices in this game. I just didn't take them because that's not how I normally play this game. You could you can sculpt your strategy to whatever you so desire. Normally in conjunction with the gear that you actually pick up. So you want to maximize the effectiveness of your gear. This is just this is just one way of playing the game. The number of ways you can play this game are infinite. <laughs> To be honest, we spend the entire another major problem, well, a minor problem. We spend the entire game hunting Comstock when really Comstock's not the villain here, at least you know from this ending. But Gerdet, if we if Booker just you know up and killed himself, we wouldn't have had a game. That that's true, but he's not the villain either. He's the villains here are actually the Lutesses. They set everything in motion here. Um. God. Maybe, but then the Lutesses start assisting Booker, we get the shield upgrade from them, we get all this information. Mm, Courtney Drapper. Yeah, Elizabeth, Elizabeth's voice and uh, motion capture are played by two different people. Oh, Jennifer Hale. Like, pretty much all these people. Cornelius Slate is played by Keith. Impossible to pronounce his <laughs> name. 
Yeah, this. Uh, how how did you how did you like the aesthetics, the, the voice acting, the music? The um, I actually really liked the voice act the voice acting. I'm not really that big a fan of the music, but then again, I didn't get to hear a lot of it. Um, I do think that everyone delivers incredibly solid performances here, and I still think that Slate would have been a much better hero to follow. Yeah. The main problem with following Booker throughout this is that he's very flawed of a being, and we're supposed to sympathize with him, and then he does something that I could never consider myself doing. You mean selling your child? Yeah. I couldn't... I... I could not see myself doing that. Well, not many people can, because that is... that that is practically sacrilege. Oh look, shiny happy people. And John Fogarty, fortunate son. This this game did piss off a lot of players because like in the original Bioshock, you were playing you were playing a character, but you were being manipulated in a way. In the original Bioshock, you were you were actively being manipulated, and it's like, oh, you did all those things because the bad guy told you to. In this game, you did all those things because you are the bad guy. It is a de it is definitely an interesting take uh, take on uh, on dimensional travel, but I'm glad it's not time travel. Even though it turns into tra time travel, it's it's n I uh, okay the the exactly how the ending sequence it you know plays out at all why it happens how it happens is not perfectly clear. I don't think Elizabeth has the ability to time travel, but she definitely ended up taking us Booker herself and everybody else to the one universe where Comstock never existed. Mm, production babies. Look at all these babies. Hugo Shore. Vivian. Wyatt. And little baby Williams. Thanks to my family and for all the pie and donuts in all the land. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, this game... This game is definitely one of those titles that will remain permanently on Mom, my shelf. Mom, for renting me NES games and Dad for taking me to the arcade. Love you both. This game, if... Okay, if, if I actually owned a copy of this game, uh, spoilers, I don't. This game would permanently be on my shelf and I would pick it up maybe once every two to five years. Play through the whole thing and enjoy every second of it. My shoes hurt. <laughs> <laughs> would you kindly no seriously would you <laughs> for dear ponies Derek Gordon's doomed oysters and Dean Tate love and spoons <laughs> and a special thanks to Jill my parents and all of my brothers People, the people who made this game loved this game yeah, and they put a lot of her of heart into it. Would like a shot of Bruscati. Using smoke and mirrors to do the impossible. Irrational special thanks. Yeah, this, this was made by Irrational Games. Yeah, but the way that's worded is like, um, it's not rational to thank these people? I'd like to thank the devil. For all of his support and inspiration, I would like to thank Adolf Hitler for setting <laughs> irrational credits. I would like to thank Ben Feeder for feeding the enemy team. I'd like to thank the caterer for... <laughs> I don't remember his name, but dude, you are awesome. Your donuts were divine. I would like to thank Sean McKenzie for having both a male and female name. I would like to thank Sean Bean for playing Eddard Stark in Game of Thrones. You are the man. Oh look, your Xbox went in standby Oh mode. yeah, I think I left to get a <laughs> cup of coffee and I didn't realize... Okay, I just realized it. <laughs> I would like to thank Turbine for powering the airplanes. 
<laughs> oh man. 2K Australia. I'd like to thank Australia because nobody I know has ever been there. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to thank James Sharp for being the senior effects artist. I'd like to thank Corey Spooner because his last name made me laugh. <laughs> I would like to thank Chris Fowler for having a dead guy's last name. I'd like to thank Des Shore because... Just because... Oh, John, John, look at this! The bassist from fucking Led Zeppelin was on the user, the user interface, too. John Paul <laughs> Jones. <laughs> and thank you to Steve Wenham for making sure that everything functioned. This is fine. It's that one line I don't know. Oh, yeah, bloopers from the in-game. It's Troy it's Baker! That's Ken Levine on the right. That's Troy Baker on the left, and that's Elizabeth's voice in the middle, whose name I can't remember right now. See, but then now it's too short. Now it's one too short. Because it, then it goes, what a home. We'll play it one more time. Hey, they have coffee. I don't think coffee is a good thing to have while you're singing. Well, that's okay, because her voice is simply divine. And then it's missing the next line. Um, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is the second, that's the third, that's the fourth, but then. And I don't think that's supposed to say lonely. It's probably lonely, Santa. Lonely. 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 We're just lonely. Lonely. We'll, we'll, we'll get the actual one else. Here. We would like to thank Dan Roberts for his, for his help in making this scene possible. We'd like to thank Daryl Wisner for being so wise. Look at this, Troy Baker actually knows how to play guitar worth a damn. Unlike me, I can play like three notes on a guitar. I, I suck at playing guitar. I know how to play guitar better than most people, but that's not saying much because most people just plain suck ass at guitar. And then a lot of people like to fiddle around on pianos. I like fiddling on pianos. I was, I was trained on the trumpet way longer than I've been trying to learn guitar. I've never taken, like, formal lessons in guitar. The William Gale. Steve Park. Nick Bishop. Gil Espanto. Adam Lupinacci. Ken Cavallo. Nick Carlson. Matthias Wenner. Jeff Nair Heisner. Jackie Truong. Christopher Maas. Gabe Abercar. Tom Bass. Kenny Crosby. Doug Tyler. Renee Ward. Mike Salmon. Senya Mull. Don Burnell. Josh Valoria. Jordan Limore. Samantha Reiner. 2K Quality Insurance. <laughs> Alex Blachowski. Alex McMullen. Doug Rothman. Casey Coleman. Nathan Bell. Will Stanley. Scott Sanford. Justin Waller. Adam Klingingsmith. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Laker Chad Cheshire Jessica Mikajewski Jason Kalesa Kara Boyd Luis Nieves Adrian Montana Alexander Coracino Michael Rodenhaver Amanda Kiefer Nicholas Ross Antonio Monteverde Tolerico Brent Kidu Christopher Hartstein Ryan Walter. DiBiancey Emergen. What the fuck is that name? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Marsha Reed. Eddie Visco. Casey Farrell. Kendall Rogers. Neil Riley. Cyan Evans. Megan Rex. Martin Moore. Sam Woodward. 2K International Product Development. Arseno Formoso. Nathalie Matthews. The synthesis Siberia. Around the world. A localized audio production provided by Liquid Velvet. 2K International Quality Assistance. Waste Broyce. Alan Vincent. Oscar Pereira. Luigi Di Domonico. Fabrizio Mariani. Jose Olivares. Christopher Funke. Emily 
Pele, Sergio Acapulco, Stefan Rossi, Tom Baker, 2K International Team, Dan Cook, Chris Jennings. Why are we still reading these I tapes? Don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think we were going to read credits anymore. <laughs> Okay, Asia. Yo you know, most of these are pronounceable. Yosuke Yano. This one should be, like, slowed down a little bit since it's the last Okay, part. so see, like, these two yeah. just had their little singing well, moment, and then they're like, okay, I still have well, a problem. Hold on. Like right? Levine is scratching his head just... You guys are really, really, really good. Shen Wei. Alright, so before we get back into reading names, which are all incredibly <laughs> Chinese, um... This actually looks like a really fun game to play, but I don't think that I could stick stick all the way through it to the end. Really? I think the quest for Lady Comstock would have totally thrown me off. You mean you mean downtown Emporia where you had to find the three troops? Yeah. Yeah. The, well, I mean, I will admit that's one of the. I, I don't really care for that part. It's it's very long. So. Hey, Jared Potter. David Walsh. <laughs> But here's the thing, Jared Potter is actually, you know, uh, it would have been Albus Potter's kid. So there. Albus Potter. Yes. Uh. Oh, the credits are over. Yay! So why is there still like two minutes left? Oh. Now it's 1893 again. Anna? I don't think I knew that there was a part after the credits. Anna? Is that you? Uh, spoilers, we never find out. Not only that, but that was the start of when Booker started becoming Comstock. This has been Rocket Rabbit Commentaries playthrough of Bioshock Infinite for the Xbox 360. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in our next playthrough. Woot! We fucking finished Bioshock! <laughs>